From carjacking to arson to murder, teenagers in Kentuckyan are oftentimes the suspects. A bill that aims to crack down on juvenile crime in Kentucky is once again heading to Frankfurt for consideration in the upcoming session, and parents could also pay some of the price. WHS 1119's Bobby McSwine interviewed the bill's sponsor, who's from Louisville and a prominent figure in youth advocacy. Bobby? Republican State Representative Kevin Bratcher says this bill needs to be brought back because it, youth, youth crime is out of control, he says. Christopher Tuex, founder of an organization that mentors young kids, says it's important to consider the factors that lead to youth crime before attempting to legislate the problem away. A carjacking that led to a chase and ended in a crash, wrecking into a Louisville woman's home. How did these kids get a hold of this car and how did they end up here? A fire set at an abandoned warehouse, causing heavy smoke for miles. What do these crimes have in common? They were committed by juveniles in Louisville this year. We're serious about crime and we're getting tired of the crime that's happening all across the country, but especially in Kentucky and Louisville. It's why Kentucky Representative Kevin Bratcher, a Republican from Louisville, is again putting forth a bill that would address youth crime. The bill failed in the Senate earlier this year. It would force young people accused of violent crimes to go before a judge before they are released. Kids are doing some bad things and they're right back in the community the next day. And there's so many reasons that that's a bad idea that we're going to try to rectify that. The bill would also hold parents responsible if they're found not cooperating with their child's personalized diversion program. Bratcher says the plans almost always addresses truancy. It's really time to get tell parents to start taking care of their children. There was pushback when the bill was presented. There's these underlining issues where kids are just uh, subjected to just being in dire poverty. Christopher 2X, founder of Game Changers, an organization that mentors kids as young as four, says laws are needed. But the only thing that will truly make a dent in stopping youth crime is early intervention. You can come up with bills to try to harshen the laws, right? But at the end of the day, how hard are we really, really trying to deal with the symptoms that lead to these kids going down a wrong pathway?